Unit 9, Day 6, Circumference and Arc Length. The circumference is the distance around the circle. So when we're talking about the actual physical distance, and that means when we're measuring in centimeters, inches, feet, yards, meters. So we're not talking about the 360 degrees around the circle, we're talking about the physical length. Um, we're given two formulas. These are both on your SOL formula sheet. Circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius, or c, circumference is equal to diameter times pi. d is for diameter. And the reason why both of these are true is because 2 times the radius is actually equal to the diameter. In regards to circumference, in a circle, the ratio of the length of a given arc so when we're talking about just the length of this arc to the circumference of the entire circle is equal to the ratio of the measure of the arc to 360 degrees. So we're going to set up a proportion and it's going to be part over whole equals part over whole. Now this first ratio that deals with the physical length. So we want to know the physical length of arc AB over the length of the entire circle, which is 360. That is going to be equal to and proportional to the measure of arc AB in degrees compared to the measure of the entire circle in degrees, which is 360. So this is an extremely important proportion that we are going to use for the rest of today's lesson. So let's go ahead and do a little practice. In this problem, you're given the circle and you're told that the radius is going to be 6 inches and you need to find the circumference. So we use our formula, circumference is equal to 2 pi r and we want to substitute in the radius which is 6 and then you should get circumference is equal to 2 times 6 is 12 times pi. Now remember pi is just the number, it's approximately 3.14 so when we actually multiply it by 12, it's going to be a much bigger number. So you can give me your answer in two different ways, either as 12 pi inches, or you can throw this in your calculator and multiply to give me 37.7 inches. Either of these answers are acceptable. Now in this bottom example, if you look carefully, we're given this circle with the radius labeled. But the information they give us is that the circumference is equal to 26 pi inches. So we start off with that same formula, circumference is equal to 2 pi r, but this time they tell us the circumference, which is 26 pi. So we substitute that in for c, and then this right side is still 2 pi r. Now to isolate the variable r and find our radius, it's multiplied by 2 and pi. So we want to get rid of those and we want to divide by 2 pi on both sides. When we do that, the pi's and the 2's will cancel out. So on the right side, we're left with r. And on the left side, the pi's cancel out. And then 26 divided by 2, that's 13. So we get an answer of 13 inches. Now I want you to pause, go ahead and try these two next examples, and then check back with me to see if you got it right. So hopefully you found this first answer was 16 pi centimeters, or approximately 50.3 centimeters, and the second example was 20 centimeters. If that's not what you got, make sure you pause and check your work with mine and see where you might have made a mistake. In these problems, we need to find the length of arc AB. So this is where we're actually going to use that proportion that we had written down in our notes. So first. Let's go ahead and write it up here in the corner just to refresh your memory. I'm going to abbreviate a little bit, but it's the length of arc AB, the physical length, over the entire circumference, which we'll represent with 2 pi r. And that equals the measure of arc AB in degrees over the whole measure of the circle, which is 360 degrees. So we want to start off with that, and then here, We'll set up for our proportion. The length of arc AB, the physical length, is actually what we're looking for. So we'll call that x. And down here, we're going to put in 2 times pi 
times the radius, which is 6. Up here, we're going to put in the arc measure. Since this is a central angle and this is 120 degrees, the measure of arc AB in degrees is also 120 over the 360. Now at this point, we just want to cross multiply. So we have 360 times x is equal to 120 times 2 times pi times 6. And on the left side, it's still just 360x. And on the right side, let's multiply 120 times 2 times 6 to get 1440. And I want you to leave the pi there for now so we don't have to deal with any decimals. Then in order to isolate the variable, we want to divide both sides by 360. So that cancels out. And then on this side, when we divide by 360, just divide the 1440 by 360, and you should get 4. Then that pi, it doesn't go away yet. So this could be your answer, 4 pi feet. Now, if you put 4 times pi in the calculator, you'll get that x is approximately 12.6 feet. So either one could be your answer. The length of AB as 4 pi feet, or you could put 12.6 feet. Now I want you to go ahead and pause, try the second example, and then check back with me to see if you got it right. So the first thing you should have done is, once you're given the diameter, hopefully you found the radius to be 10. And then when you set up your proportion, it should be x over 2 pi times 10 equal to 135 over 360. And then once you cross multiply and simplify, you should find that the length of arc AB is either 7.5 times pi centimeters, or if you multiply it out, 23.6 centimeters. Now in these two problems, they kind of look the same, but you have to look carefully at what you're being asked to find. In this first one, we have this arc AB, and they actually give you the physical length. 15 inches and they give you the measure of the angle of 60 but they're asking you to find the circumference so when we set up our proportion and I want you to think it's the length of arc AB over 2 pi R is equal to the measure of arc AB over 360 now when we substitute in the facts that we know, the length of arc AB is 15 inches. 2 pi r, that's actually the circumference, and that's what we're looking for. So we're going to put c here, and that's the variable we're solving for. The measure of arc AB is going to be the same as the central angle 60 over the 360. So this is actually the proportion that we are going to cross multiply to solve. So when we cross multiply, you get 60 times C is equal to 15 times 360. And that gives us 60 C is equal to 5,400. And our last step, divide by 60 on both sides. And then you should get 90 inches for the circumference. So that means if this part is 15 with 60 degrees, the entire circle the distance around is going to be 90 inches. So I want you to go ahead and pause and try the same thing with the second one, except you're solving for r. So instead of replacing 2 pi r with the circumference, I want you to just leave it like this and solve for r. So go ahead and work it out, and then check back with me to see if you got it right. So you should have started out with that proportion again, and then hopefully you filled it in. 18 pi is the physical length of arc AB over 2 pi r, the whole circumference, equal to 90, the measure of arc AB, over the whole circle 360 degrees. Then when we cross multiply, you should get 90 times 2 times pi times r equal to 360 times 18 times pi. And then when you multiply 90 times 2, you get 180. 360 times 18 gives you 6,480. Sorry, this is a 0, not a 6. And then <clears throat> to isolate the variable r, divide both sides by 180 times pi. 
then you should be left with 36 inches for the radius. Hopefully you got it correct. If not, check your work with mine and see where you might have made a mistake. That's it for today. So check over everything and make sure you know this formula, um, this proportion that you're going to be using for all of these types of problems. Alright, I'll see you in class.